Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Um, I am dressed in all black because I feel like this is the perfect ensemble to do today's video. No, I am not doing a Sims video. I am doing a reaction slash discussion video for Beyonce's new music video formation, which I guess isn't too new anymore, but I kind of wanted to wait and, you know, to the hype calm down, which I don't think it has, but I just want to see what this, vi like, what is the big deal about this video? I have seen posts from people saying that this is so pro African American or pro black and really big movement for uh, for you know our race and then I've seen people who are saying it's racist it is completely anti white which I don't feel like Beyonce would do because I do believe she is she has some French in her doesn't she but um as well as a complete uh, disrespect to the police force and basically an uprising against them which is again something I just I don't see Beyonce doing or any mainstream artist unless they're probably in rap doing in a song so I want to see what the hype is about and I want to share it with you guys so yeah let's just get on with this and see where this takes us all right Okay, so I'm going to stop right here. I'm seeing I'm seeing flooded houses. So I'm I'm not sure where that's going right now. Stop. <laughs> I'm going to be doing this so often. So I just want the first lyric off the bat from out of Beyonce's neck. Y'all haters corny with that Illuminati mess. And these look like old timey houses. I'm gonna say this is a pretty big flood. I'm gonna say Katrina. A am I am I right on this? But that Illuminati mess. Everyone has is so after. I feel like Beyonce for you know saying she's an Illuminati because she's successful, things like that. So I just love the fact that she just basically called everyone out straight off the plate. Yeah, haters coloring to go with that Illuminati mess. I think that's kind of funny. I don't know what that means. Okay, Javonji dress. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's beautiful. Um, the outfits in this seem like really old, old, old timey style. Oh, look, that's who I be. So this is definitely set down down north. So I'm gonna throw out my five cents and say she is just threw us into the slave era because Louisiana, Alabama, South, Civil War, Civil Rights, slavery. She just took us all the way down there, and I love the fact that she has her baby in here. I came to slay, bitch. Cornbread and collard greens. That's a staple. And she's in a wig shop. Again, stop with that Illuminati mess. Alabama. My daddy's North Carolina, and my mommy's my mom is Mississippi. So that California. I don't. I, how did she say it? A Texas Bama. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna a Calorina. I'm a Calorina. Are she are they dancing on a football field on a basketball court? Okay, they're in like a study or like a hallway, a foyer, maybe. What car is this? Don't let your hair touch the ground. Beyonce looks good at any time, but she's just timeless. Y'all sure she's human? <laughs> that, oh, I thought that was Elmo. Oh, 
a walk. Crawfish. Little star. Is that Mardi Gras? Girl, you know you're a black belt game for making plays. More than a dream. I love it. Get your hair off the ground. Old time church, old gospels, Negro gospels. Okay. Low riders, okay. I don't know if I want to talk. I, I, I feel like I need to talk about this now. So, for the part where there is a little boy dancing in an all black hood, basically against the, um, I'm going to guess the SWAT team, police team in general, you know. I can under I don't understand why people are saying this is against police, but I can see why they would jump to that. Um, I'm. I think sometimes, a lot of the times, and especially lately, it has been. It has seemed like it has been the African American community against police brutality, against police officers. And that's not to say that every police officer is the same. There are different police officers. We, you know, they're. There are assholes everywhere, every profession. It's not like we're boycotting the police force, but I think it's just a good, I just love the fact that she called attention to the fact that simple acts like that in the community can be seen as hostile and lead to brutality and killings and things like that. And we lose really, you know, we lose sense of hope that our kids can grow up or we can grow up and be safe in our communities when on you hear in the media about things like Trayvon Martin, you know, th just different cases like that. And not even just the one, you know, that are hugely televised and hugely reported on. You, you know, you have Sandra Glenn who was, she was reported for a while and just kind of slept under the rug. Think of all the other ones that have already been swept under the rug that we don't even get to hear about that there's an internal struggle. And I think, I love, I don't think, I love the fact that Beyonce called attention to that in like such a short little simple way. Is that a chorus line? Is that a chorus line? Coordination. Again, right there. Stop shooting us. Such a strong message delivered so quickly, but your eye picks up on it, and it's something that sticks. And I love the way she had that put in. New Orleans. Is that where Katrina was? Oh, my God. I, I need to go. I need to go look at history. New Orleans, Katrina flood. Uh, New Orleans, Katrina, the flooding. I, Beyonce basically just said... I am black. I'm roaring. Hear me roar. She knew. I just want to put, she knew she was going to start a conversation. That's how, I love that because that means she had a message to deliver and she was there to deliver and you know ifs, ands, or buts about it. She knew she was starting a conversation. I absolutely love that fact. I'm, um, I'm going to go back for a second. Yes. There, at the end, there's a part. Right there. Best revenge is your paper. I don't know. 
I don't know if that is something that is widely said, you know, across any nationality, but I definitely know growing up in an African-American community, in an African-American household, that was a big saying. The best revenge you can get on someone is to do better or is to do your best, is to, you know, succeed. And I love that she added that in there. That was a beautiful homage to, you know, growing up black. I mean, I don't see this as Beyonce basically calling out to police force or this being anti-white. Um, I think this is a very important thing to remember that being pro-black does not mean you're anti-white. I'm pro-white, I'm pro-black, I'm pro-Indonesian, I'm pro, you know, Vietnamese, I'm pro-everything because I love all races. And I don't think you have to necessarily be against one race to be, you know, to be for a race. I think it's just, you know, in media, there are a lot of songs and a lot of singers, you know, African American dancers, things like that, that are not always pro that don't always portray themselves to uplift African American girls, African American women, especially given a, a young girl a role model. And this video is beautiful in the fact that it basically tells us, you know, hey, you know, we're black start standing up. One of the worst things the African American community can do is to be against each other, to be against, you know, others as well, but fighting within means we can't fix the problems that are going around around us. And I think this was a beautiful message that she did. Basically, you know, just stand up, be proud, you know, don't be ashamed of your heritage, don't be ashamed of where you come from. There was a lot of um old-timey, you know, talk in the background the way like th the way they talk the way they enunciate I think I heard a few phonics in there but you know it's just you don't have to be ashamed of that that is part of who you are and I think that's especially beautiful because I don't always embrace my southern like you know my southern roots because like some of, like as you can see in the video some of the things are just uh they're just not meant main they're not meant for mainstream and I think that's really sad but I love this video for the fact that it's basically saying no matter where you come from, you know, stand up, unite, be together. We're we're together. And I think this was beautiful. I mean, I don't feel like, you know, rioting. I think the way she phrased it at the end was the best way she could phrase it for us is <coughs> I'm still getting over a cold, sorry guys. Is, you know, don't you don't have to cause physical emotional and you know property damage or anything like that the best revenge we can get which we, I don't necessarily you know I don't know if at this point we need revenge as much as just a a union of you know just just some like a brotherhood just you know or sister whatever I don't think you know we necessarily need revenge but the best way for us to move forward is to succeed and I think that's a really important message for not just, you know, the African-American community, all minorities, all groups, anything. And I love the fact that Beyonce, Queen B herself, was the one to deliver this message. I found this video to be completely uplifting. I know this is a, real, a controversial topic right now, and I haven't really done anything like that on my channel, so I'd love to see and hear some comments from you guys. Let me know, what do you guys think about this video? Uh, what do you think about the message? What did it say to you? I I completely love this. I, you know, I'm not a crazy Beyonce fan. I don't even think I listened to her last album. She had an album, right? That thing she dropped. <laughs> that thing she dropped. But, um, yeah, I just love this. I lo absolutely adore this. And I would love to hear some of your feedback. Did you, you know, did you, do you not agree? Do you find this to be racist? What about? What's on your mind? Leave a comment down below letting me know and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.